This is not a fun question at all, but it has nothing to do with COVID. You ready? It's genocide instead. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. In the context of lineage selection and ecological dominance, I see a logic, natural law behind, for example, genocide. Where is the threshold for that outcome in the modern world? There was a global scale genocide inevitable. Well, you, know, you, you can do this. Yeah. Um, so first of all, it depends what you mean by global, was it global scale. Yeah, that's what he says. So lineage selection predicts that some lineage will target other lineages. Um, obviously, we are all one lineage at one level, and you don't really expect that. Um, you would expect maybe very large lineages to go after other very large lineages. Uh, the threshold is presumably yeah. a um, cost-benefit analysis of the degree to which the size of one lineage's pie grows uh, at the cost of eliminating another lineage. In the modern era, the algorithm is liable to be the algorithm that individuals are driven to this kind of demonization of others, which is presumably the mechanism through which this goes, will be very poor because you won't anticipate things like what happens if some population that has nuclear reactors collapses and those nuclear reactors um, you know, melt down and explode, yeah. uh, right? We won't intuit that. So there's that. On the other hand, countries have intelligence agencies who presumably can do explicit calculations about things, which might change things. But I, I see no reason but, that if we don't get in the road of the instincts that cause lineage selection to trigger people to do this, that it won't happen again at ever greater scale. Yeah. And I, I mean, I guess that's, that's it, is that... Um, the way that we talk about and invite and encourage others to talk about the evolutionary toolkit is how can you best understand what the forces are that created who you are today such that you can override those forces that do not actually have your and your friends and the world's best interests at heart. Yes, and so lineage selection is true and real. And yes, absent any other forces, uh, it, it could well lead to complete obliteration of the species. Um, but we're humans and we can and must be better than that. We can we can override our basest instincts and and we need to. And we do it all the time. We I do mean, it that's all the, the time. thing. Every yeah. time you you know, if you live in a cosmopolitan country, which presumably almost everybody who's watching this podcast does, the point is you you go to the theater, you go to the market, you hang out in the square with people who don't look like you and aren't mm -hmm. so closely related to you. And you're not constantly looking at the other people in the square who do look like you and thinking, hey, maybe the folks that don't look like us can't defend themselves and we could take their stuff. Right. I mean, that, we don't do that. Right. We're, we get over it. And frankly, we yeah. actually like it. Right. Yeah. There's a, you know, I've made this point before. Your life. The. United Colors of Benetton and I'd Like to Buy the World of Coke were bullshit, but that was advertisers tapping into the fact that people actually like it when they have camaraderie across these yeah. uh, these lines of difference. They feel good about themselves and they feel good about other people. Yeah. And so it's not like this is some Herculean effort to get over these instincts. It's like yeah. if in a yep. world where it is profitable to put racism aside, people will do it. Right. Yes. That's what we should be creating is a world where it makes sense to do it. And mm -hmm. then people will, because frankly, it's just better.